All right, Tom here, Flip Anything USA. So it's been about 10 days or less since I uh, come across a really great deal, the one I've been talking about. Uh, this is so exceptional. I'm kind of retracing my steps. I'm actually going to close this thing tomorrow or, or the day after tomorrow. And uh, I mean, I could take 30 days to close this thing, but I'm not going to uh, because I want to just slam the deal shut. It is so good. Now this is about an 80, 80,000 cash, but I actually got this thing 100% financed. That's because I have great credit. But uh, I'm gonna show it to you now. And uh, so take a look here. You can look at this view. This is what I came across when I first pulled up. First thing I saw was, oh, we got some, uh, you know, we got a lake already that we're approaching. So this is a, a little private, community it's about 70 years old uh, and it just keeps getting better and this is where we're at down this street and so you can see there's a lot of old stuff here and I was kind of go oh, well you know I kind of like I don't mind the relaxed lifestyle you know I like lake properties and I like you know easy living there's stuff that's cleaned up and kind of nice around here uh, but as I'm getting here, I know I'm getting close to the address. And uh, so I'm getting excited, you know. <clears throat> and it just keeps getting better. Because as I come down the road here, then I look over to my right here and look at, we have a home. That's probably a, you know, seven, eight hundred thousand dollar place. And then straight ahead, there it is. Actually, I got a plumber here waiting for me. But it's the, the yellow rough looking place that you see right there. That's our destination, and we'll go inside. All right, so we're in front of the property now. You can see the lake is just right there, and uh, like I said, it's very, this is a second look, but uh, I've already, you know, we're about to close on this thing. Uh, like I say, I always try to keep things quiet until I get it closed. Don't want somebody to mess up my deal. Uh, so you can see we got a, a two-story house here. Looks great. Uh, I mean, it looks great to me. <laughs> the price is right. But it's, it really is cool. I've already checked out. It's got a well. It's got a few things uh, that all seem to be okay. It's got this old boat rotten in the driveway. But that's fine. So you come down here and... You can see they got an old patio set up here, and it's kind of rotten. And underneath, there's been some repairs, uh, which I'm going to do a lot more. It needs to be kind of pulled back together and tightened up a little bit. Um, uh, the driveway, you can tell, is shot it's so bad I can't even park my little BMW in there because it'll bottom out. Uh, I've already had a locksmith out here, and this is something you should know. If ever you got to have a property rekeyed and you can't be there, don't worry about meeting your locksmith. Most of them carry a little lock box, and so you can have them rekey your whole property, stick all the keys inside, tell them what to set the combo at, then you come in, open it up, slide the little door open on the side here, get your key, and get all your keys, and then you know, you've got, you've got your set. So, again, I was all the way, I've already committed to buying this before I even walked in the door. I've only come in here just in the last day or two. Been in escrow about 10 days, I guess, right now, roughly. Uh, this is downstairs. It's got tile floor. Looks great. Uh, just needs to be cleaned up. It's got a little one-car garage, uh, which I think is really cool uh, because you can park a little boat in here. And there's the, the boat launch is like, I mean, it's a two minutes walk down the hill. Um, so, so what I found out about the place so far, all the stops probably need to be replaced on, on the, the, the stops being the valves behind the toilets, tanks, and uh, up under the sink, the valves, we call those stops, uh, if you don't know that. Uh, there's a couple of hose nibs for the washer and dryer here. Uh, I just had a plumber out. He's going to go through and replace all the stops, the hose bibs, seals, the stem valves for the showers and things like that. Those will all get replaced. I expect I'll spend maybe 500 bucks with him. Uh, uh, 
So, had the power turned on, flipped all the breakers. First thing I was concerned with was the well. Well came on, we're, we got water, we're pumping water. So, that's the main thing I was concerned with, or one of the main things. Uh, it's got a, a kind of a neat little, funky little stairwell. Actually, there's another little bedroom here. So you got, basically you got two, no, I take it back, one bedroom down here that walks on into the garage. It's got a forced air unit that really looks like it's in good condition. So does the, con uh, the compressor outside. And then we got a little bathroom. This is just the downstairs floor. Uh, and it's got, it's kind of neat. It's got a full shower. That's nice. Uh, and, uh, you know, again, minor plumbing issues, which is when anything sets for too long, that's kind of a normal thing. Uh, the cabinets, actually, they're kind of old style, but they're all in really good shape. Uh, a little, like a laundry chute type of thing going on there. Downstairs is the deck. It's not exactly safe to, I mean, I wouldn't want to put too many people on it, but the lake's right there, and you'll see it better when we go upstairs, but it's actually a very big lot. What's kind of cool is this lot is, is, is the whole parcel, the whole, uh, the whole uh, tract is like a big oval. And we're on this tip of the oval where this little little half half circle is cut off on the end. And this is it. And it, boom, it looks down both channels of the lake and it's beautiful. So uh, very, very excited, man. As soon as I got here, I was like, as soon as I went over the hill and I saw that first thing you saw, I was like, oh yeah, this is a deal. I mean, I, a lot's for lady, okay? But this house, this family built it back in 1979 as a vacation home. But they didn't really use it. It has hardly seen any use. And so I love it because it's got this kind of retro old oak. You know, it's real oak. Real oak paneling or ash, it looks like it might be. Uh, the cabinets are super sound. I'm kind of really digging it, too. I used to be a cabinet maker. I'm a cabinet shop for 10 years. But, uh, I don't know like that. But still learning the property, but there's a... Uh, you can see these cabinets. They're decent old oak cabinets. I'm probably just going to leave everything retro. I like it, to be honest. And the, the Formica, very out of date, but you know what? I love it. It's, 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 it goes, dates back to the 70s, but it's in perfect condition. I can't find a burnt spot. It's not delaminating. It's not pulling off the edges, which sometimes happens. So this thing is just going to be super cleaned up, and I'm just going to leave it the same retro 70s. It's still totally functional and usable, and I actually get a kick out of it. You know, I could come in here and I could throw, you know, granite countertops on all this and modernize it, but you know what? What for? What for? I, I don't think I'd get, you know, when you, when you put, get into kitchens like this and you try to remodel, you're lucky if you get the money back that you put in it. You know, you can spend 30 grand right here real easy, and guess what? It might get you another 30 grand, <laughs> so it's not going to be worth it anyways. Uh, and this is so cool and so affordable, I mean, I'm going to pour a driveway, I might pour a little patio up front, downstairs, instead of, you know, get rid of the wood. And I might be 20 grand right there, to be honest, if I do as much concrete as I'm thinking about. But that way it'll support three or four, five cars maybe in the front, because it's a lake house. People are going to need to park. There's no street parking because the streets are so tiny. But you'll be able to park five, you know, vehicles and, uh, you know, entertain family and friends, that type of thing. Uh, the, uh, you can see there's, there's, been, uh, there's been rats in here. I can see I opened up this top drawer. You can see right here, this, this top drawer. That's a, that's a little mouse's nest right there. You can use this kind of stuff. If you ever want to catch a mouse, you can put fuzz and cotton in a trap, and it'll work sometimes better than food. Rats don't just eat. They love nesting material. And all this stuff on the floor, I'm not sure why this is all scattered about like it is, but... Uh, I found out from someone that knows that the carpeting in here is actually was put in maybe two years ago, but only somebody's lived in here three months over that period, two year period. So probably clean it up. I mean, I, my, my, my personal feel is I'd like to just tile, tile the whole top, but I may just stick with this carpet. It's got a shared master bath. Uh, so there's like two bedrooms that have uh, this in between. And again, I, I like it. It's got this old, you know, I'm sure this is all original from the 70s, but the tub looks great, the tile looks great. 
It's got the funky old wallpaper. There's a little problem down there which we can fix. It's, again, it's a, uh, a stop for feeding the water in the tank. Uh, but this old, you know, this old Formica, if I, if I can fix this. It hasn't been broken, thank God. But I can come in here and you get a little, uh, uh, what we call contact, rubber contact cement, and you put it on here, you put it on both surfaces, let it dry for about 15 minutes till it's, it's dry, and then when you put them back together, it just sticks like, you know, like crazy, and then it's good. And uh, you get a kick here, look at this, uh, this mirror setup, you know, and all this old gold kind of stuff inside. That is so 60s and 70s. Uh, I just think it's great. I think it's great. Uh, so back here, another little bedroom. Uh, and it's kind of neat. You can look out. I mean, look at this. You didn't even see all the views yet. Look, look at that. There's the lake right there. It's awesome. And the deck even goes around two sides of this place. So, uh, uh, there was a water leak. It does need a new roof. There's another four grand for sure. Maybe five. But again, it's, it's nothing. I mean, the property, I think the property, by the time I spend 30 grand on this place, it'd probably be worth... 250, 300,000, you know, so I'll be 125 into it, and I can make over 100 grand, maybe, maybe 150, it's crazy, it's a very good deal, um, and I, I wasn't the only bidder on this too, that's what's really crazy, so out here on the deck, uh, top deck is awesome, it's very big, spacious, the yard is also quite big, uh, but man, Look at this view. This view is absolutely awesome. I mean, this is this lot is worth over a hundred grand easily. So, I mean, this is just amazing. This is beautiful. And uh, so, I, I'm going to trim these trees down because, like I say, you can see it here. As you, if you move over here, it's a little more blocked because of this tree. But that tree didn't cut the top down off that. And I'm up high enough on the hill that I'm, I, I'm looking over 50-foot trees down below me already that are never going to get any higher than they are. So I don't have to worry about being blocked. I've got an awesome lake view forever. I'm looking into a cove over here on my left. And there's another cove over here on my right. And then this is looking out into the main body of the, of the lake here. Um, so the, the, the siding is actually quite good. Uh, this is... Uh, this is good siding. It's not. Uh, it's not wood. It's like a cement board. Uh, so it's good. It'll paint. It'll hold up. Everything on the outside is actually uh, held up quite nicely. The wood that is on this place is. I speak too soon. Yeah, the paint's coming off, but the board is fine. Uh, the boards are rotting here, but also you know they have. Um, it's kind of another. It's kind of a. They call it a. Nah, it doesn't matter, but it's kind of a, uh, a cement board. It's not wood, uh, but it, you can nail through it. Uh, hardy, hard, hardy, like hardy plank, and what they call another one's called like a hardy board. But you can nail through it. It just lasts forever because it's, it's, not, it's not wood. It's not going to rot. Uh, uh, there's some little fix-ups that have to be. I'm going to replace the fascia. This stuff, uh, a lot of this stuff, they didn't use any treated material, so the water just destroyed it. But there's not too much of it. I'll probably just do fascia all the way around with that same kind of material I described, uh, the hardy plank. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it'll be good. But, like I say, even looking through the trees, you can see right here, you know, uh, I trim these trees up. It's just going to be gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And, uh, you know, it's quiet. It's quiet here. I've been out here at night once, and I've been here. You know, I, I feel really, really great about this purchase. And, uh, you know... In all honesty, I've had boats and things on the lake, but uh, I may just hang on to this. I'll probably hold on to it a year just to, so the taxes are less. You know, you pay a premium on your taxes when you flip stuff. If you flip it within a year, if you wait a year and a day, it drops you down to do another bracket. So uh, I think I'm going to hang on to this one probably a good year, just because I think the, the gain's going to be substantial enough that, uh, you know, why throw... 30 grand away, you know, so, uh, anyhow, and I just noticed I got a, got a fan light out here, uh, so there's just, uh, 
like I say, it's just a, a cool, cool deal. I'm so pleased. And like I say, not not every deal you're going to run into is going to be this good. But I'm so glad that 60 days into my my uh, video blog here for my boys and for the public, uh, you know, I can prove it out to you and show you that these kind of deals do exist. And uh, you know, I'd have done this if I was just going to make 50. But I mean, it looks like it's going to be like a hundred thousand dollar profit at least on this thing, uh, and maybe more. And uh, just wanted to give you a quick tour. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll take some still shots of the before and afters. I'm going to be doing some fixing up, obviously. And uh, we'll share that with you as well. All right, so now we're in front of the property. Now you can, you can see it here. You can see the two decks, lake behind. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a walk to the water because it's so close. It's really cool because we're going to be able to, uh, you know, it, it's just such a great amenity. Uh, it takes two minutes and 30 seconds to walk down to the water at a regular pace and actually put your toe in the water. It takes no time at all, uh, which likewise, I can keep a boat on the property, pull down, drop the boat, run the boat trailer or whatever in the vehicle back up the hill and uh, run back down in a couple minutes and be done. Uh, you know, like I said, it's nice to keep a boat on the water for sure, but in all honesty, this is so close and so easy, I would rather do this than actually probably keep it on the water. Unless I had something that actually lifted the boat out of the water. But uh, uh, anyways, uh, you can see looking down the path here, again, it's just a straight shot down the water, down the water. And uh, up that we'll even see a car. It's a very small private community. Uh, it has uh, POA fees, that's uh, Property Owners uh, Association, and, uh, but, uh, you know, no big deal, because uh, they're minimal. They obviously don't spend a lot of money on, on this place. The roads are narrow, but they're, they're good enough, and, uh, you know, for a sleepy little getaway, I mean, how cool is that? And then here, you know, and it's, it's not a slum by any means, there's some old stuff because it's such an old deal, but you can see. This is a beautiful property right here, you know, that's very modern and nice. And I've never seen anybody there, so I'm sure it's a, a second home for somebody that's done well for themselves. Uh, and then, likewise, you got they got a trailer up on the hill here. So, and you know, some people may not like that, but to be honest, I like it. It keeps the property values uh, somewhat down, for them anyways. Uh, it's funny, because look, you can see these old steps up here. Come around here. Look at these old steps. Those things are probably 50, 60 years old. I, I, I love stuff like that. I especially love it when it stays in good shape, but obviously that's been weathered and eroded. And, uh, but yeah, look, look how quick. Maybe it isn't even two minutes. That didn't take long at all. And then, of course, we've got some high end homes across here. And, you just kind of got a little mix of everything, you know, but uh, it's a kick here. Take a look over here. Down here, these, I saw some folks out here, and it says the Redneck Yacht Club. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, but, yeah, anyways, this is a, there, I will we'll show the first video. When I first came down here by myself and I, I looked around here, it was... I was like, I knew instantly. In fact, basically I committed to buy it without ever looking inside or turning on the power or anything else. And you can see, it's just a no-brainer. You just, you just don't have this kind of, uh, this kind of property that doesn't come cheap really anywhere. Uh, especially, you got to remember, I'm, I'm in a, a major city in the USA and, you know, it didn't take me 30 minutes to drive here. So this is all very, very cool. And, uh, in fact, I have the option, possibly, to buy, uh, if I want a boat dock, I can buy one. But, to be honest, I don't see anybody using these. So I could pro I'd probably just make a deal and rent somebody's for 100 bucks a month or who knows what. And, uh, if I wanted one, if I want one. So I do like the idea of being able to come down here with the kids and taking a swim and swimming off the dock and fishing off the dock. So, that, that's, good. Or, you know, that's a good possibility. That might happen. So... But uh, anyhow, that's it for now. We'll keep we'll keep poking around on this place as we fix it up, and and uh, in between other deals, we got a new we did a neat video the other day. It's probably going to be out for a couple weeks. 
but uh, interviewed one of my tenants, just a great entrepreneur, and uh, you'll see that pretty soon. But uh, he's a, a hair cutter, and uh, probably, I think he's the world's greatest barber. The guy's just got so much pride in the work that he does, and, and the customer service, he's, he really is top notch. It's gonna be fun, you're gonna enjoy that one. So if you're not already watching, uh, please uh, tune in, subscribe, and uh, we're all just making money. Uh, you know, flipping properties or building our well by adding and buying more property and, uh, you know, taking the cash flow from previous purchases and reinvesting it into buying more and just building an empire. And that's what I've been doing since I was 19. And uh, that's what I'm trying to show everybody how to do. Particularly, this is a video blog for my boys. And I appreciate everybody's input. Give me your questions. You know, any questions. There are no bad questions, you know. Just, uh, uh, you know, because the information's got to be out. If I'm not covering it, a lot of times I take it for granted. People know, and I, but I try not to. I try to be as good as I can about talking to somebody from very, very little experience up to somebody that, you know, has, is on, on my level or maybe beyond, uh, you know, knows what I'm talking about. So, anyhow, that's it. Flip Anything USA. And, uh, in. Stay tuned, man. Who knows? Who knows what we'll buy next? In fact, I got a I got a giant warehouse I saw on the way in here. That when we leave here, I think we're gonna do a quick clip. And this warehouse, man, it, I smell money. It looks great, abandoned, huge. We're gonna go take a look at that. We're gonna take a look at that. So that's it. Keep bird dogging. That's you gotta always bird dog. Never, never stop.